Hello and welcome back to Paper Mario episode 15. We are in 15 episodes deep. You heard me right. Oh, God. I can't believe it. Man, it's just like... It's like watching your kid grow up, you know? Like, the fact that we're in chapter 6 and we are about to take a massive, massive chunk out of it just has me feeling some type of way. So I want to show off something. You can smack the the metal hammer down and it will actually flip these. So that's pretty cool. I don't know why I didn't show off that off before, but here I am showing it off. Um, there is a way we can go back here. We're not going to do that till later, but we are going to do it today. Do you have a second? Then listen to my sad tale. Ever since the sun went away, I have begun to droop. I have no energy at all. Without the sun, I just seem like the whole world is sad. Now these Monty Moles dig into the ground and bite my roots. Oh, woe is me. My beautiful seed collection will become a Monty Mole banquet if this keeps up. Please, sir, you look strong and capable. Could you get rid of those Monty Moles for me? Sure. In case you're wondering, the Monty Moles I'm talking about are this guy and this jerk and this troublemaker and this wicked creature. This guy is... Well, you probably don't need to be concerned with that one. Please don't fail me. My seeds are counting on you to save us. Well, she is not thrilled. So first off, we're going to go over here and we're going to beat this guy up. Because he's just so funny looking. <laughs> Look at him. I'm a huge fan. Oh, you, you probably know these guys. Crazy Daisies. They're very, very funny. I love them. This is a Crazy Daisy. Crazy Daisies look cute, but they won't think. You won't think they're so cute after they attack you. Max HP is 8, attack power is 4, defense is 0. They attack by singing a song. If you fall asleep under the song spell, you'll fall asleep. Or well, if you fall under the song spell, you'll fall asleep. If you get their HP low enough, they'll try to run away. Beat them quickly so they can't flee. Alright. And we're just going to go ahead and jump on this thick boy. Very funny. I love their little smile and the fact that they're flowers. So, as you can see, I grinded up some coins because, you know, I was like, man, yeah, what, what, what could I do before we start the episode that would um, be beneficial to us? You know, what, what, what could I, what could I handle? You know, what, what could I take care of? And I, I don't know if you remember from last episode, but I was talking about some tech that uh, uh, people were saying was just lost to time and no one figured it out for the, for the longest time and all this. And I'm like, okay, okay. And I was sitting there thinking, I was like, what was it? What was it? I can't remember. And right before we popped on the episode, I was like, oh, yeah, that's it. And I remember. So we're just going to use dang old hammer throw because I miss it. 12 damage. That's right. These guys have a hidden, like, a hidden multiplier that causes them to take extra damage from the badge hammer throw. Why? We don't know. Is it cool? Absolutely. It's cool. Yeah, so. That's a neat little thing that was not discovered, or not discovered widely to the internet until about last year maybe yeah about it about a year ago i think is when i saw when i saw it so that's pretty exciting stuff this is a monty mole you remember monty moles from mount rugged don't you max hp is 12 attack power is 3 defense is 0 they're vicious rock throwers they may look intimidating but they're not very strong yeah they have uh, a ton of health, but they're not bad at all. Um, and you see these ones are actually like a greenish color. And I don't know why that is. They have different um, uh, 
uh, tattle entries, um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, well, I mean, yeah, they do, because they have different stats. Yeah, you see how weird their hitboxes are on first strikes? They're very strange. I am excited to uh, show off the hammer throw, though. I think that's super cool, the fact that it goes ahead and does 12 damage. Look at that. Look at that. It's, it's tough to... It's tough to find fun little things like that in, like, older games, because it almost feels like, you know, everything's discovered, and it's like, sometimes when you go back and play an old game, or you're watching a playthrough of an old game, you know, someone will bring up some tech that you've never heard of, and you're like, wow, that's super cool, but it's like, you know, it was still, there's probably, you know, the next guy, and the next guy probably knew that. They probably, you know, were like, oh yeah, you know, I caught that, and like, of course, there are guys like me that have played it a bunch, maybe not caught some of this stuff, but, like, seeing that, and, like, when there's something that's, like, hasn't been documented and all that, it's just super cool to, to just find something out about such an old game that you just figured you knew everything about, you know. So, hopefully that's something new for you guys. Um, I know there's some people here that haven't played the game at all, so that's exciting for you, regardless. But if we have any Paper Mario 64 veterans out there, um, I don't know. I know Dennis was a big fan. I don't know if he's watching, but if you are, Dennis, I love you. Hello. Glad to see ya. Um, yeah, I, I love showing off just little weird things, especially in a game like this, which is very interesting. Never jump, jump. We really need to upgrade Gumbario, man. I feel like that has been a real... You know, I think that has been one of my biggest oversights in this playthrough. Is the fact that we've upgraded, like... I don't know. We've upgraded, like... I don't know. I don't want to put anyone on the spot, because I don't want to make them seem like, you know, I don't... I don't care enough to upgrade them. Like, we've upgraded people that we just don't use a whole lot. But since we're tattling everyone... I'm upgrading Goombar- I'm- I should have upgraded Goombaria long ago, uh, but I did. <clears throat> and I'm not gonna lie to you and say that I know where the, uh, I don't know- I don't- I'm not gonna lie and say I know where the next upgrade block is. Okay, just for final time, hammer throw. You remember the badge we got right outside of Toad Town from hitting that spring? It was on top of the, uh, awning going into Toad Town from Goomba Village. We're using that badge. I know I showed it off, but it has been a while. 12 damage. There is uh, something coded into the game to make them weak to hammer throw. Oh, look how happy she is. Let's talk to her. Oh, yippee! Hooray! 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 You got rid of the Monty Moles! Oh, thank you, thank you! To show you how grateful I am, I'll give you this magical bean! Here you are! Well, is it big? You got the magical bean. A bean. It's twitching as if it is to say, Plant me this instant! Mm -hmm. Yes, my name is Petunia. They call me the Seed Maniac. He dies to meet you. By the way, how about that how about that magical seed that I gave you? You shouldn't plant it. Why not? Because as a seed, it will always enjoy freedom. After it's planted and sprouts up, it won't ever be able to move again. Don't you think that's sad? Please don't plant it with, oh, for instance, fertile soil in miracle water. I don't want to think about a sprout growing out of my cute little seed. No. And she's back to being super happy. I love her. Look at her. She's got that, uh, crazy daisy smile. Big fan. I'm obviously not going to use the word, the C word, because I don't, ugh. I don't, I don't use that word. Ugh. Our I Spy hasn't gone off recently, has it? Oh, there's a little upgrade block for Gumbario. Um, would you believe me if I said I forgot that was there? <laughs> I don't know how. I feel like that's one that I really should have known. We're gonna talk to old Chuckster here. Hey, Mr. Big Shot. You look for something? The only thing that poses has got the soil. Dad, the soil, yep. She definitely doesn't have anything beautiful, no way. <laughs> hey, 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 sorry, guy. I can't tell you more. Not even yes. Hey, Superstar, let me fill you in on something. You can't just shove one fine gift. You hit the three trees in order. Left, right, and then middle. That's what it is. Screw that guy. Left, right, middle. That's the guy that tells you, by the way. 
Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to go under there. I meant to go in here. Left. Get away from me. Right. Middle. Check it out. Oh. Oh, do you have to hit him three times? Okay, I feel like a fool right now. I'm over here like, there you go. Like, haha. Good job. Hmm. Left, right, middle. And he did say left, right, middle. I know he's been known as a bit of a liar. Um, I think that's not me. That's not my head cannon. That's just like that's been stated somewhere out in the game, like in one of the text boxes. You'll find that they'll say that you know that he's a he might be a bit of a fibber. He did say left, right, middle, though. So. I don't know if he said hit it three times. I know he said there was three trees, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Don't worry. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and get this. Right now. Unless I really can't figure it out. Poo-poo. Ah. Got him. And see, the problem... God, what would you even call it a problem? All or nothing means that I have to hit the action command, though. That means Mario has to do that neat little front flip. So we're just basically sitting here and just grinding XP off these zaps. All right, that's it. Right. Left. Oh. <laughs> okay, we got the happy flower badge. There we go. Restores FP automatically during battle at a slow rate. We already had one of those, but I feel like it was very important just for the sake of documentation and the fact that we are 100% in the game that I went ahead and showed that off. Hello, my friend. Hello, stranger. What do you think of my bright red coloring? Isn't it nice? What's that? You want to pass through here? Ha ha ha. No, I'm sorry. I couldn't possibly let you through. Although perhaps I could make an exception if you gave me something delicious to eat. Give him that red berry we found over there. Much chomp smack. Oh, delicious. This is it. Great color. Full flavor. It's perfect. You're a champ for bringing me such a tasty snack. Of course, you can go through. Nice. I'm gonna head now. Oh, I thought we were gonna land on him. That's okay. Whoa. What is that? A uh, flying mm, meatball? Um. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't set on the timer. This is a rough puff. Rough puffs are nasty little cloud henchmen of the Huff and Puff of Huff and Puff. They're uh, so they're clouds. They're dirty clouds. Max HP is ten. Attack power is four. Defense power is zero. Rough puffs float in the air, so a jump attack or something similar may be best. Of course, I'd be more than happy to give him a head bonk. It's your call, Mario. Well, too bad. We're a little too. So the timer for 50 minutes. Hey, nice little... That, that was a nice, easy thing to hit the action command on. Um, luckily for us, we do 5 damage a hit. We took one of our damage dodges off. Um, I'm, I'm like 98% sure they stack, so I, I will be putting it back on. Got a stinky herb. Oh, <laughs> did you see Mario? He was like flying backwards. That was pretty cool. But, yeah, um, set the timer for 50 minutes, damage dodge, I'm fairly certain it stacks. We'll, uh, we'll put it back on here in a little while. Um, it's definitely something that's, like, more of an accessory badge for us at this point. Like, oh, there it is! Mario's poisoned, so, uh, it's a good thing we got to show that off naturally, that zaps can actually poison with their sting. I don't know if we've showed that off yet. I really like Mario's poisoned animation, uh, the fact that he just turned straight green. I think it's a lot of fun. It only does one damage a, uh, a turn, though, so really it's not too bad. That's a yellow berry. Believe it or not, we're going to need one of those for a recipe, if I'm not mistaken, and to get through another door. Oh. There it is. Isn't it so nice that we can just hammer? Oh, I love it. You know what? I'll tell you what. We'll come back to this place a little bit later. Um, you'll find... Uh, You'll find with the flower areas that we are 
Well, I was going to say we're going to have to come back a little bit later on each of them. And that is actually true. Um, I'm actually going to backpedal and say that is 100% true, because we got to come back for this guy. Also, nice little star piece there. Let me go find the area with the yellow flower. It's not that one. Oh, right, right, right. It's the one I wanted to go down. This one. Here we go. Hey, good day, Mario. It's great to see you. I'm the guard of this gate. I must tell you, though, I don't let many people through. I have excellent taste in food, so you must bring me something sufficiently tasty to get by. Well, do you have anything? And then we'll go ahead and give him a yellow berry. Of course, of course. Munch, chomp, chomp. Oh, bravo, magnificent. A sweet, subtle flavor with a delicate finish. And such marvelous coloring reminds me of the warm sunlight I so yearn for. I am truly taken aback by your cultured taste. Of course you may go. Very nice. And yes, you know what's about to happen. We're gonna go mess up some amazing daisies up there. Or, sorry, crazy daisies. I don't know why I would call them that. That's not their name at all. <gasps> well... What is this little golden thing? Hmm, how strange. Let me show you guys something. You know I just said a Maisy Daisy? Well, I'm gonna give you a little spoiler. That is what those guys are. They are extremely rare. Watch this. Can I get the white one to attack me real quick? Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, dispatch this gentleman. And I'll tell you what, I'm actually gonna go ahead and let Goombario attack him. Even though it was really it would be much smarter to let the... Oh no. Oh wait, watch this, watch this. Here we go. Yes, damage dodge stopped it all. Oh, we unequipped hammer throw. I was gonna show that. I was just gonna show off throwing a hammer at the bazap. I thought it'd be funny. Um, but now that we've dispatched the white uh, or the crazy daisy, let's go ahead and do this. And just like that, he's actually dizzy. And we get four, four. That's ten. Dang. We're gonna have to tattle him so we can't kill him. That's a shame. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll see if this works. And then we'll uh, go for the tattle. And you know, we would have got him if it weren't for us trying to tattle him. And you know what? That's fine. Because we can go ahead and just encounter him again. This is an amazing daisy. Amazing daisies are so rare that they're also called the legendary crazy daisies. Max HP is 20, attack power is 20, defense power is 1. These guys, these guys almost always flee at their first chance. It would be nice to beat them, but be careful. Their attacks pack a powerful punch. Yeah, it'll kill us if it attacks us, period. Okay, good. Cool. Okay, so I know that seemed like, you know, what well, was the point or whatever, but we can go ahead and grab that star piece. Very nice, huh? Get a blueberry. Get another blueberry. We'll go through here real fast. Go ahead and attack this. Grab one more blueberry. No. I believe... The tried and true method here is to just keep going back and forth, and eventually an amazing daisy will spawn for you. There he is. And watch this. We put him into stun lock with our dizzy attack. Go ahead and do this. And this does require that we hit our action commands each time with Goomba, Goombario and Mario. Watch this. Uh, we could use our hammer, 
it would do eight damage to it, but I, I'm, I'm confident we'll hit our action commands here. And watch this. 43 star points. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and grab one more level off of him. Now look at that, he drops a bunch of coins and FP too. But we are gonna go ahead, switch to Watt real quick. And we're gonna encounter one more. That way we can get a nice little level up on screen. It'll be neat. And I'll tell you what, I'm gonna probably boost up a couple more levels while we're here after this after this video ends. So we'll come back probably two or three levels higher than we end the video today. Um, and the re the reason I'm okay with doing that is because really you're not gonna be getting you're not gonna be getting much more powerful than you already are. It's more so just our stats are gonna go up a little bit to compensate for just you know the fact that the game's gonna get pretty difficult soon. Um, because spoiler alert, 25 health is not gonna get us far. Uh, there are some powerful enemies, and I know it seems like we've dispatched powerful enemies very easily. Uh, very quickly, um, but I do want to make sure that we keep stay with the level curve, you know. All right, if we don't get him with the next three tries, I'm just not going to do it. Okay. I'll tell you what. I think after you kill one, you have to like. No, maybe not. All right. I said I'd give him three tries, and he failed. So it's time to. Ugh. Did you see that garbage? I missed. It's okay though. We can one-shot Crazy Daisies, so that's why I'm uh, okay with fighting them all on our way here. Mm, we might go ahead and snag a level up off of these guys. We'll see. Cool. I love when it only gives us one. Nice. There will be um, a four stack in here somewhere. You just wait. And you know what? I think for that, we're going to go ahead and pull out Sushi. I want to make sure that we're showing all our partners some love, because I know I haven't been doing that. But I promise. I mean, we'll... I plan on going through and seeing if it is worth it to, at the end, show off all the Watt hidden blocks throughout the game. Um... I mean, Cooper is rather situational in my opinion. He's still good, but, you know, situational. We'll use him at the very end of the game. Uh, we'll use everyone at the very end of the game. You know what? I do feel like we have given... Why did we get two honey syrups there? That's weird. I feel like we haven't used Bao a ton, but she did have her whole... She did have a whole chapter, and we, you know, she wasn't essential. So really, I, I don't know. Now that I'm looking at our boys... I think we've given, given them all a pretty fair amount of love. That should be a four? Yeah, I was gonna say. I'm like, I'm like, I'm pretty sure. Okay, that was pretty bad. I'm sorry. I just, I, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I forgot what to do. It's been a while. That's a good one. But yeah, I forgot. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and storm them. Star storm them. Uh, that way they don't attack us, because we're, we're gonna level up after this. Um, uh, we should. Oh, are we gonna end with one star point missing? Tell me. Okay, that's a little weird. It gave us. Maybe because it was a multiple battle, because I'm fairly certain they were giving us two when there was only one of them. Oh, we'll go ahead and uh, level up FP. A maple syrup? Get out of here, honey syrup. Very nice. Goombario has been probably the most useful through this playthrough, only for the sheer fact that I am tattling everyone. And I don't know if you guys are happy I'm tattling everyone, if you can just live without it. I don't really need you to tell me, because I'm going to keep doing it anyways. Um, but I do hope you find it interesting, you know, that, you know, seeing all these interesting enemies. You know, before, I used to use... Um, I spy. I'll go ahead and eat that. I actually had such a hard time finding where this star piece was. There it is. I thought it was right here, but it's actually right there. Very interesting. Um, another thing that you might guys might find cool. Let's go ahead and uh, 
Yeah, let's go ahead and eat one of these stinky herbs. Let's uh, head this way. We got a thick, thick lily on the lily pad. What is that? Is that a jamming, jammin jelly? Yes, we have successfully turned two jam and jellies. Oh, how horrible. The spring went dry. What a tragedy. Oh, this can't happen to me. No, it can't. Not to Lily. Somebody, the horrible thing that rides the clouds, took our precious water stone. Water flows from that magical water stone. Without it, the spring will never recover. Oh, and I'll wither up if I can't float on the water. I'll be crushed by my own weight and wither. Poor Lily. Oh no, don't give up, Lily. Perhaps a handsome prince will arrive and help you soon. A million dots. Oh, a prince. Well, he actually looks more like a plumber. The beggars can't be choosers. Hello, my name is Lily. I'm a beautiful, fragile flower who lives in the spring. Um, to tell you the truth, I have to ask you to do me a favor. Could you please get my water stone back from that horrible cloud creature? Oh, you're a dream come true. Thank you so much. The water stone looks just like this. I can't see anything. Please find it. Okay, did... Okay, so she said it looks like this, but, like, she didn't hold out a picture to show me or anything. She just sort of... I don't know. I mean, that, was a, that was a little weird, to say the least. But we're going to go ahead and go get the water stone now. Let's see if we can find a dang old... We're going to do it three times. One. No, we'll count it from now. One. Two. Last one. And we're walking. Very nice. I don't know. I think we got that other one really quickly. Just uh, And the fact that we walked in on one, that was pretty cool. I don't... Honestly, I feel like... I feel like... This is the worst right here. If you miss, it'll send you back to the other side. And sometimes I'll get real impatient and just get attacked like six times from that. Um, but, yeah. They were pretty rare that you'll find it. Pretty awesome. Now, ooh, dang. Hold on a second. I'm wrong one. I started getting a little hasty. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. We gotta go find the guy with... We actually gotta go find the blue flower now. That's the bubble plant, and this should be blue man. Oh, sorry, this is bubble plant. I don't know why I goofed that. Weird. Ugh, oh, I'm so hungry. I'm tired of thought of the stupid old game. I'm so, so hungry. Hey, you there. I don't suppose you have anything good to eat that you'd like to give me. Listen, if you give me something succulent, I'll let you throw it here and I won't tell anybody. Give him a mystery. I love those things. No. Trump smack munch. Blah! Oh, blah! This is totally epic. Listen, I can't eat anything but berries from around here. Yeah, I guess maybe I should have told you that first, huh? Stupid old me. Now I feel even more blue. Please, just leave me alone. And he says the same thing. I'm gonna give him a blueberry. Not a blueberry, a blueberry. A blueberry? I'm sure this will be gross. Not strong punch. Oh, how delicious! Such a splendid taste. There are good blue things. I'm filled with hope again. Go and go never feel blue. I'll never forget you. Hmm, that guy was. He had like a deep, some deep voice going on. Cool. Um, before we go through there, well, first things first, I want to go ahead and come on. It's all the way at the bottom. We all know. Go ahead and unequip Dizzy Attack. 
uh, because we don't really need that for anything. What do we want to equip? Hmm. How predictable. <sighs> Makes me sick. Okay, so we're going to go visit the Toonie one last time. And we're not going to talk to her. We're just going to go ahead and run past her. No, please! I tried to go behind there. I never have to fight this guy. This is weird. And we're going to do nothing with Paracary. Watch this. Figure it's good to document the Crazy Daisy attack. That one couldn't have killed it, so... Dang, I tried to hit the action command there. That's, that is a very, very difficult action command. And those guys can actually put you to sleep, so... Uh, Flower Fields is very dangerous. I know, I know it looks fun and all that. But Crazy Daisies are pretty powerful. Especially if they get you to sleep and there's like four of them, they'll just keep putting you to sleep. I've, I've seen the horrors. <laughs> What a freak. It's gonna hit your straight. Nothing? You got nothing for me. Nothing? Okay. Well, if you guys remember Razzle, he has a badge. Sniffle! I'm throwing stuff down into my well. Oh, this is a blueberry. I love these. Thank you. I'll give this to you in return. He has a badge called Flower Saver. During battle saves 1 FP every time you attack. So if I go to use Power Jump, which costs like 2 I think, it'll only cost 1. Very cool. Watch this though. Shrivel. I was throwing stuff down into my well. Whoever it is, you deserve this for your rudeness. He throws an amazing daisy on us. Boy, and we're going to come back here just one last time and throw the other berry down in here. You know what? We might throw a bubble berry down there too. We'll see. And if I remember, we'll go ahead and throw a bubble berry down here too. But we already threw him a blue one, he didn't like it. So we're when we threw the yellow one, throw threw a yellow one. And he did not like it. We we'll throw a red one. He says the same thing. And a bazap comes out and attacks us. It actually does not get a first strike though, so we don't have to worry about taking five damage off the bat. Um, like I said though, I'm really gonna be looking forward to getting a bubble berry. And I'm going to try my hardest to make sure I remember. Also, I want to just point out the music. I think it's very important that I have you guys stop and listen to it. So I'm going to stop talking for a little while. Let you guys just listen to all the music this place has to offer. Because it's some of the best. Personally, uh, you know what these guys are? They're pretty famous. These guys have been around for a long time. Spinies. This is actually what Lakitu's throw, if you're not familiar. Um, in the original Mario Bros. is where this guy was actually introduced. This is a spiny. Spinies have spikes on their shells that are pretty sharp. Max HP is 5, attack power is 4, defense power is 3. They'll roll into spiny eggs and slam into you. It'll be much easier to fight them if you flip them over. Their defense power falls to zero. Or we can just completely crush through them. I don't know if they will go into their spiny egg form um, for a turn, 
But if they do, I know they do in a Thousand Year Door, um, but they can go into their shiny egg form and become completely invincible. Zero attacks, nothing in the game will damage them. Um, so. Yeah, check that out. Some uh, pretty swaggy gamer moves there, huh? And we'll go ahead and just take a peek if there's anything else going on inside this place. Nice little platform in action going on in Paper Mario. What do you think? I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, that guy hides from you. We're gonna go ahead and not fight him though. No. I don't think he I don't think he earned it. But you know what? Hey, let's give somebody else some you know what, we'll keep Watt out. I don't think there's anyone Dang it. I coofed, hold on. Good thing it let us walk. What's this? Hey, heard you drop an idiot. Nothing Puff will have our clouds if we don't find it. Oh man, I'm so clumsy. That stone gave out an endless supply of water. Without it, we can't increase the power of the Puff Puff machine. It just gotta be around here somewhere. It just gotta be. What? Is that Mario? Look, man, it's Mario. Let's look for the stone later. Let's go rough this dude up. Oh no, Mario? Are you sure? I'm not sure. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm in the right mental state. I oh, forget it. I'll fight anyway. Here it comes, Mario. Um, so, the boys in the Mario Baseball Discord in the club, you know, it's a very popular question of, if you could have somebody else in the in Mario Baseball, who would it be? And I feel like an answer that doesn't get talked about enough is Lakitu. How cool would it be? Lakitu needs some more, uh, he needs some more love. I think he deserves to be in, like, Mario Party games, Mario Kart games. I know he's the guy that brings you off the track, but that is... Like the Lakitu, you know, he's the umpire, he's the, he's the race, he's the guy that, you know, he holds the camera for the races, he brings you back on the track and everything. You know, that's Lakitu, but there are more Lakitus out there. This is a Lakitu. Lakitus are strange Koopas that can ride clouds. Max HP is 12, attack power is 3, defense power is 0. They toss down spiny eggs, and they sometimes turn into crawling spines. We'd better build them quickly, or else we'll be surrounded by spines. It seems like these Lakitus have been hassling you for your entire career, Mario. That's the truth. Lakitus are a nuisance. That's why I think it would be co <laughs> That's why I think it would be cool to see some more Lakitu representation, man, because they have, uh, they've been around forever, literally since 1985. Boom. Boom. Why are we doing five? Um, what did I do? Weren't we doing six and six? Um, also, look at, uh, Goombario coming in like that. Yep. He's down. I'll tell you what, we're just gonna go ahead and mess up the Lakitu for... <laughs> What am I talking about? It's got the mini boss music going on too. Or the. Well, it's more so, I guess, mini boss. I guess I've been calling it that this entire time, but it's more like, um. Mm, battles you can't run away from. You know. Uh, also, check out Goombario. He's at, he actually does like a spin, like a 360 spin in the air when he does his head bonk instead of just going straight up. So. Some pretty cool, some pretty cool stuff there. Let me go ahead and go through this way. Go ahead and go through here. So let me tell you what's been going on in my life a little bit. Um, today I actually got my Game Boy printer in the mail. Allie bought it for me after our St. Louis trip, and let me tell you, it is awesome. I think it's so cool. I got, I had the cord for it. I hooked it up and everything. I printed off a picture. I, of my Gengar and his stats and everything, and it's hanging on the fridge. It's pretty awesome. Um, I've been wanting a Game Boy printer forever, forever. And the fact that I finally have one and I already had the cord for it was just oh, so nice. I can't believe it. So, um, whatever the Game Boy printer can do, I'm going to start putting it through that. I'm going to print off my, uh, I wonder if I can, I wonder if I can print off my, uh, Pokemon Red, um, certificate for completing the Pokedex. Um, we'll see. I'll give, I'll, uh, I'll definitely keep you guys updated. If anyone's curious, um, I fully documented it on my Snapchat, but I have all the videos. Um, if anyone's interested in seeing how it works, how it plugs in, what it does, I have everything documented. Um, 
Takes six AA batteries. Pretty awesome. But let's get back to it. I did. I I stopped there for a minute to keep talking because we have an encounter here. Oh, hello. 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 It seems like ages since I last saw a visitor here. I'm Rosie, a rose spirit. I'm ever so glad to meet you. Here I am in full bloom and there's nobody to look at me. Please, admire me all you like. Breathtaking, aren't I? Aren't I just incredible? Of course. Really? I'm that beautiful. You're so honest and charming. And underneath that scruffy mustache, I bet you're handsome. I like you. And because I like you, I'll show you this. Oh, man. This stone. Isn't it beautiful? I found it just the other day. Mario's like, get me that stone now. I need my hands on that action. Some strange creatures on clouds dropped it. I couldn't resist its gorgeous glitter, so I made it mine. I could look at it all day. Huh? What did you say? I should give you this stone? Oh, dear. You're saying Lily's in trouble without this. How very sad. Oh well, it can't be helped. The stone is mine now, you see. Please! You mean Lily will wither up without this stone? Oh, how sad. Really, how very pitiful. As hard as it is to believe that Lily sometimes acts like she's prettier than I am. That's not true. Not true. She's dumb, but she's not evil. And if she's gone, there'll be no flowers to set off my beauty. Let's see. Tell you what. If you bring me something more beautiful than this stone, I'll think about trading it. So let's wait till then. Alright, we'll be back. We'll be back. So we're gonna go ahead and go through here. All, this, all these other tubes, um, they just take us through different parts of the maze, and it's like, ugh. But luckily, I know I know where to go. Don't worry. I would like to go ahead and get to this block, though. Let me see if we can get to that real fast. Let me go through here. I think it's through the top. Is it through the top? No? What about that? I checked it from all the sides. Eh, doesn't matter. Uh, ten coins in it. Less than ten if you stop jumping. You know how Mario blocks work. Whoa! Oh yeah, if you accidentally break that brick block because you don't know what's going on, that's a good way to uh, get it back. So, we need to go find the yellow gate, actually. Oh, sorry, sorry, red gate. I remember yellow's the... Ooh, he got me. Nice, that was, a, that was a shot right there, my friend. And we're going to go ahead and do five and ten. Not bad, not bad. And boom, boom. I don't know if I've mentioned this here, but um, I already have the next playthrough in mind. I know I was talking about this on an episode of Pokemon. I don't know when he saw that episode of Pokemon, but I was talking about it. Uh, let me see real quick if we have... need one of these for the road. I like to have one. I cleared out my inventory a little bit before I started the chapter, but let me talk to it real quick. No, oh, I got this crystal tree. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful in all the world? Oh, excuse me? I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Posey. Hmm, what's wrong with my mouth? This is my nose. Oh, how rude. Anyway, it was this fertile soil that made my nose grow so long. I happen to like it. Mm hmm Your nose is pretty nice, too. That's true. It could stand to be a little bit longer, so why don't you take this fertile soil with you? You get the you get the fertile soil, absolutely pollutant free. It smells like very good soil. Your nose will be perfect soon. Hee. <laughs> oh, Rosie told you to bring her something beautiful. Rosie really loves beautiful things above all else. She's a little self-involved. Have you noticed? 
You really need help, huh? Okay, I'll help you. This tree and I are connected by our roots. So maybe one or two crystal berries will fall down if I shake the root. Ooh. Oops, that was a little bit unladylike. Rosie should be more than satisfied with that berry. Alright, you got the crystal berry. The glittering berry made of crystal. Okay, so that is actually in our key item section in our items, so I cannot throw that down the well. I know I was thinking it too, but look at it right here. No. Ouch, that hurts. What's the matter with you? I gave you a crystal berry, didn't I? Don't tell me that you want another one. You shouldn't be so greedy. Do you think it was easy shaking that root? I can't just do it over and over. Ouch, 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 don't you hear me? Ouch. Oh, I shouldn't be so loud, hee hee. Please don't hit the tree. Oh, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Ouch, what are you, ouch, stop it, I, ouch, ouch. I said stop it, aren't you listening to me? Don't you ever come here again, do you understand me? Ouch. And she actually kicks us out. Watch this. Don't come back here! Get out and stay out! So, I actually didn't know that for a really long time that you could do that, but you can. So, kinda cool. A little mean, sure, but I don't care. I'm gonna go through here once again, past this spiny. We're gonna go ahead and go to Rosie. This way, of course, you remember how to get there. Overshot it just a hair. Pretty clean, though. We got through that maze in record time. I hardly remember my first time going through that maze, because once I figured it out, I made sure not to forget. Have you found anything? Oh, how pretty. I love it. That's so much nicer than this ugly old stone. You'd better hurry back and give the stone to Lily. Make sure she knows that she was saved because of me. You got the water stone, a magical stone. Water springs from it. Oh, such loveliness. I've gotten so beautiful that I'm starting to scare myself. Who is the most beautiful flower in all the flower fields? That is me, of course. Yes. I, uh, I hate to feed into her egotis her egotistic nature, but it's true. If we're going off beautiful flowers, yeah, she she takes the cake. Um, I mean, she is just a flower, but you know, I, I'm 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 a man that can respect a flower's beauty. Um, I like Petuni. I think she has a very nice smile. I think it's very fun to look at, or whatever. I like this guy too. He is really something, really packed with personality. So I believe. Lily is this way, through the yellow gate. And this is where I start to get impatient, is when I have to come through here again, because I always want to try to jump that part. And I just did that for the meme right there. Since we're doing an actual playthrough, I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and go through this way. Let's try to find him again, see if we can catch him in the act. I swear I want to find him again. <laughs> I think I think it'd be fun to fight him again on camera. Cool, we got him. So I think we just have to like walk away or whatever. Whoa, man's looking a little thin. Let's go ahead and go down here. Take off one of these. Oops, sorry, that one. Got him. Cool. Let me see what the hammer's doing. Nice, nice. Um, Barricary can be a little inconsistent on hitting his uh, action command on his skydive thing. So we just shell shot him. Cool. Got him going 42 star points right there. I think we'll level up by the end of the episode. Get away from me, get away from me, you freak. We don't need all these coins, but I want them. Dang. Um, 
What's this? Yeah, my mom's a huge fan of that attack right there. You know, I always talk about her as if she like has played this game at all recently, and it's been, dude, it's been years and years and years and years and years and years and years, 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 years. I mean, probably at least ten years, dude. I mean, it's been like it isn't even worth mentioning, but I feel like mentioning it because I like it. I think it's very uh, neat that she used to play it, and I think it's funny that I have memories enough because of her playing it. So very fun, very fun. Oh, it's the water stone. Quickly, put it in the hole there. No. Just kidding. I think we would have got unique dialogue if we would have walked away or something, but it's not. I don't think it's like that crazy deep. There we go. Nice little rainbow going on. A little fountain. Huge fountain, okay. Reminds me of uh, last chapter with Mount Lava Lava. Cool. That filled up. I figured you guys were wondering when that would fill up. That's the bubble tree. I didn't forget. Oh, it's water. Sweet water. The spring is full of water. I'm floating again. Oh, this is paradise. Thank you so very much. I'll give you some miracle water from this spring. Here you are. Why, thank you. Very cold water. Glitters in the sun. This is the most nourishing water around. It's water with a little lily extract. I can use this miracle water on any plant and it'll grow like gangbusters. Oh, but not right now because there's no sun. Oh yes, great idea. You should go see about getting the sun back into the sky. A resourceful guy like you must have some idea how to get the sun back up again. I bet you'll do it. You saved me after all. Um, I know I'm sort of making this chapter look quick, but if you had never played this game before, um, by the way, you cannot get another jam and jelly. Just want to show that off. Um, like, if you don't know what you're doing, these, these chapters, they, they will take more than an hour. I remember when I was younger, and I didn't have a full vast knowledge of this game, dude, I was... Whew, it took me forever. It took me forever. And it was, like, half because I was a dumb, stupid, poopy baby, and also half because, like, there's a lot to figure out. There's a lot of game here, and you gotta, like, figure out what you're doing, and you gotta, like, look around, and, like, I'm grabbing these berries, and I'm having what I need and everything, but, like, dude, is that another Amazing Daisy? Okay, fine. If you insist. Watch this. Dang, he got us. He got us. It'll be okay, because watch this. That. And we're gonna do this correctly this time. Oh, we needed to hit it one more time. Yeah, not bad. I mean, five. It'll do. I guess. And we're just gonna get ultra XP right here. Oh, come on. He totally avoided us. Gonna hit him with some of that hammer. Boom. That's eight. Watch this. Very easy thing, e easy attack to hit the action command with. And we'll do this for a clean 8 HP of a kill. So if you're ever playing this game and you get to this point and you want to grind up a few levels, um, I think the, the strat here is to go ahead and if you do kill it, go ahead and walk to Lily and then come on back. Or you could probably go to the hub area and walk on back, just to make sure that the, both the flowers are spawned again. Um, that might be that might be the way to just make sure that you're getting amazing daisies at the correct pace. Um, so walk, just walk all the way back out here, which I would not recommend because it's sort of a burden. Or just walk into Lily and you'll be okay. Now, what she was talking about, and what I wanted to bring up, is we could plant the seed and stuff. Oh, well, I guess it won't let us. But um, the seed and everything, they just go right there, and we have everything we need. Now we just need to get the sun up. 
And that's not going to happen today. We're not going to we're not going to finish the chapter. Like I said, we either will finish it or take a big old juicy chunk out of it. And since we've been tattling things and everything, we're not going to we're we're not going to be able to get everything done. But we'll throw a bubble berry in there. I've never done this, I don't think. Um, okay, so it's just an amazing daisy. Okay. Um it was for science. And I feel like you ladies and gentlemen would uh, appreciate me going back and throwing that on. We're leaning one star point, which means we are officially at the level cap for flower fields, which is where I wanted to be. Um, I don't want to get too over leveled, but like I said, I wanted to level up a few times before we left, and yes, that that is uh, showing that we are at our cap for flower for roughly for flower fields. Obviously, like a boss. You know, we have, we're going to fight a boss, and he's going to give us a big chunk of XP. But other than that, we're not going to be experiencing much XP. Hi, my name's Bubble Plant. Do you want to know why my name's Bubble Plant? I'll tell you if you give me a bubble berry. There you are, my friend. Oh, awesome. Good going. Okay, get a load of this. Listen. Very cool. I love Bubble Plant. I love Bubble Plant. This is the only way to get over here. Kinda crazy. Now, don't mind if I do... Oh, dang it. What the heck? What? So, we've got ourselves a little bit of green Magikoopa going on. Here we go. Watch this. This is a green Magikoopa. He's one of the magicians in the Koopa clan. I have to admit, I like those green robes. Very cool. Max HP is 11, attack power is 3, defense is 0. He can magically increase the defense of others. He looks pretty surly. Yes, he does. Quite surly, but if they're alone, they just run. I mean, heck, even only one, I mean, we're still... At 35 star points, it, we're pretty much exactly where I want to be. That obviously opens up, and you can just jump down here. And if we were to, we would actually have to go find another bubble fruit, which would just be a huge issue, in my opinion. So we're going to not do that. And maybe, maybe you didn't pick up on the fact that we're not doing that, but we're not doing that. Oh my god, a badge. That's a nice one. One of my, one of my favorites. Well, hmm. Remember back in the day when we used Bombette for things? Well, it's not over. And guess what? That badge is a little far, Cooper. You mind getting that for me? Alright, got the Mega Smash badge. Hammer's an enemy with a huge amount of attack power. Yeah. Um, with our hammer, it'll do like 13 damage or so, maybe 14. It might just boost it up to 12, but I don't think so. Um, let's get some Goombario out again. And we're just going to completely avoid these Lakitus because they're just complete and total tools. This music. I'm not going to top and I'm not going to talk till we get to the top. Listen. There he is, the sun himself. Hey, hello. I never thought anybody would come all the way up here. I'm the sun. No, that's not entirely true. I should say I was the sun. The clouds that came out of the puff puff machine that Huff and Puff built. 
Those clouds keep me from climbing into the sky. I'm a complete failure as a son. All of those flowers and plants and flower fields are suffering. Where is it? You mean the Puff Puff Machine? I think it's east of here. The clouds seem to come from over there anyway. Why do you want to know? Do you think you can break the Puff Puff Machine? No, there's no way. Don't strain yourself. You might as well go home. Actually, it looked like he had some dialogue. Oh, if, uh, if those clouds were gone, I could rise right into the sky and bathe all the poor plants with sunshine. That's what he said. He said all the same stuff as he did the last time, but then he said that. But listen to this music. It's the only place you're going to find it, if I'm not mistaken. Wow, so good. Cool, and back to some of the best music ever. Hey, 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 hold up. Wait, man. What's, uh, what's shaking? Oh, no, Alakitu. He's sentient. Hey, man, I don't think we've ever met, have we? I mean, you're Mario, right? My name is Laka Lester. Uh, no, it's Michael. No, um... Oh, yeah, Spike. Yeah, yeah, I'm Spike. Well, whatever. Never mind. Look, I don't have a problem with you personally, but I've got orders from Huffinpuff. Sorry, man, but I have to give you a bit of a beat down. Like I said, man, sorry. Did I sound cool? Yeah, totally cool. Here it comes, man. We're basically just going to beat the crap out of this guy. First, we're going to tattle him. Spike. He said his name is Spike, but he seems to be a Lakitu, but he's the weirdest one I've seen. Max HP is 50. Attack power is 4, defense power is 0. He throws, he throws spiny eggs. Is it just me, or did he call himself Spike, Michael, and like a Lester? What an odd guy. I have to wonder just what his real name is. Cool. We're gonna kill him. You think I'm opposed to killing a, la a Lakitu? No. Um, look at the little texture on his uh, spiny ball. On his spiny egg, my bad. Kinda weird. I mean, why does he uh, look different from all the other Lakitus, and why is his spiny throw different? Huh. It's not doing very much damage. So. And... Whipped him. He blocked every single one of his attacks. Boom, and boom. Crushed. We killed him. Look at that, 12? Uh-oh. Well, you know what that means. <laughs> man, you're tough as nails. I give up, man. Go on, do your worst. I'm not afraid of it. Do whatever you do to guys you defeated. Fire flower in the eye, bow block. Why? Hey, look at that little shooting star right there. Did you see it? I saw it. Oh no, lackey Lulu. No, please, please have mercy on my poor, sweet Lacka Lester. Aw, oh, don't call me Lacka Lester. It's Spike, remember? I told you I changed my name last month. Come on, now. Man, I mean, gee whiz, you're always embarrassing me like this. Although, for some reason, it makes me feel... It makes me like you even more. I mean, what? No, did I say that out loud? Forget that I said that. Anyway... I lost a challenge, man to man, so we have to settle this. Yeah, let me put him out of his misery. I have to face the music. Mario, please forgive him. My lack of Lester was just following Huffinpuff's orders. Heck no, I'll kill him. He's really sweet. Please don't take my sweetie away from me. Oh my god. Can't, can't uh, action command that. Mario, please forgive him. 
My Michael Lester was just following Hufflepuff's orders. Really? Oh, for real? You're forgiven? Oh, thank you. Stop calling- no. Stop calling me Lacka Lester. It's such a stupid name. My name is Spike. Spike, don't you ever listen to me? Sigh. I'm beginning to think that this whole deal is stupid. I was working for Hufflepuff to be part of something big, but all I've been doing is picking pointless fights. This isn't what I've wanted in life. What I wanted was... Hey man, I've got a question. What in the world are you doing all this fighting for? No reason. Man, you're a cool customer. You're out there every day just risking your life and living just because you feel like it? Wow, talk about a tough guy. You know what? I want to fight just because I feel like it. I'm going with you. Oh no, Lackalister, you can't leave me. Please take me with you. Oh, Lackalooloo, chill out. You gotta understand. I'm doing this for you, don't you see? I'm going. I've got to be a man. Wait for me. I'll return a much more manly Lackatoo. Oh, okay. I'll wait for you, Lackalester. But you'll be so sorry if you don't come back to me in one piece. I swear, if you make me worry, I'll take a spine in. Okay, enough of that. Hey, uh, I guess I'd better make sure I'm tougher than you by the time I come back, huh? See me off with a smile now. You're so much cuter when you show me those pearly whites. Bye for now. Like Lester joined your party. Press down to ride Like Lester over spikes and lava. Um, yeah, we got a Like Two on our team now. He moves fast. He. Oh my Like Lester, come back to see me soon. I'll be waiting with a smile. Her cloud will be smiling too. Which I think it's funny. Oh come on, call me Spike. Got a neat little shooting star there. Yeah, but um. I mean, I like Lackalester a lot. I think he's awesome. I really think there's no bad partners. But of the people you're going to see me use, Lackalester's going to be a little low on the list. Don't get me wrong. But either way, I think this is a great stopping point. I think that we've made plenty of good progress here. And thank you all for coming out to Paper Mario once again. On the next episode, we will finish Flower Fields. We will plant the magic bean and see what happens. And we'll try to find this puff puff machine to let the sun go back into the sky and maybe take on Huff and Puff, whoever that is. Either way, I'll see you next time.